If you notice that your Samsung phone or tablet appears to have slow or unresponsive touch screen lately, it may be due to a number of different factors. Older devices tend to slow down compared to new ones, but if your device is relatively new, you'll have to figure out the cause of the problem. This guide will help you determine what's the reason for your unresponsive touch screen. Check out our solutions in the video to see what you need to do. It's often not straightforward in fixing an issue like a slow touch screen, but there are a number of things that you can do to narrow possible factors down. Here's how. Having hardware damage to the screen of your Samsung phone or tablet can obviously lead to problems. One of them being a slow or unresponsive touch screen. The screen on your device have two functions. One is to act as monitor that displays images, and the other is to receive inputs, touches, or taps to navigate the software. Any breaking the integrity of the physical screen can seriously hamper these functions and cause errors. The more errors occur as you operate the device, the slower or glitchy the device may become. Eventually, the system may become overloaded with errors that it may not be able to handle them. This can lead to crashes, slow response time, or other signs of performance problems. Some third-party screen protectors may not work well with some Samsung devices. If there's no obvious hardware damage to the phone, try removing the screen protector to see if that will improve things. Some thick screen protectors may lessen the sensitivity of the touch screen. If you're using a Samsung screen protector, or if you did not remove the thin plastic screen cover, try cleaning the screen with a soft cloth. A simple restart can sometimes do wonders. Make sure that you turn the device on and off, and see if that will help. Minor bugs are sometimes fixed by refreshing a computer or smartphone, so you don't want to skip this. Your Samsung's touch screen may be slow or unresponsive because the system is overwhelmed by many apps running in the background. On paper, Android is supposed to manage RAM without user intervention by closing some apps running in the background to give way to a new one. However, this scheme is not always implemented in real life causing slow performance. One other possible reason why your device appears slow or not as responsive as you expect is due to a corrupted system cache. This can sometimes occur after a software update. To ensure that the system cache is up to date, you can wipe the cache partition. Android uses the system cache to load apps quickly. The cache partition is a portion in the internal storage that stores the operating system OS updates and system cache, so clearing it won't affect any of your personal data. You can wipe the cache partition safely anytime. Most cases of slow or unresponsive touch screen issues are due to a software-related glitch. If none of the solutions help to fix your problem, you can reset the software back to factory defaults. While this is often effective, it can also be tedious to do as it will delete your personal data as well as all customizations you've done on your device. Be sure to create a backup of your data using Smart Switch, Samsung Cloud, or Google Cloud after a factory reset. You can then restore some of your customizations apps and files depending on the option you pick. That's it, we hope this video is helpful to you. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.